Whenever I get gloomy with the state of the world, I think about families gathered together on Christmas Eve. General opinions starting to make out that we live in a world of hatred and greed, but I don't see that. It seems to me that love is everywhere. Often it's not particularly dignified or newsworthy, but it's always there. Fathers and sons, mothers and daughters, husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, old friends. That is, until somebody brings out the Monopoly board. What's more Christmassy than forcing your friends and family into poverty, followed by a raging argument? Shall we have a game? Monopoly is a game of chance. You roll the dice, move your piece accordingly, and take an action based off of the square you land on. However, simple probability tells us that rolling two dice will result in a seven more often than any other number. We can use this to determine where we're most likely to land after rolling the dice. So after the first roll of the dice, we are most likely to land on one of these squares. When making a decision on whether to buy property, it's helpful to look at the players behind you and estimate the likelihood that they'll land on your new investment. The most visited spot on the board is jail. This is because there are multiple different avenues that can direct you straight to jail, including the community chest and chance cards and the go to jail square. This means that the squares following jail are also frequently visited, particularly these spots bearing in mind our earlier probabilities. We can actually work out the probability of visiting any space on the board, allowing us to deduce the most landed on spaces and the least landed on spaces. Knowing which spaces are most frequently landed on is only part of the story. In the end, we want to force our friends and family into handing over their money by setting traps of houses and hotels. Once you start buying houses and hotels on property sets, it's important to keep in mind how quickly you'll expect a return on your investment. For the brown properties, you do want to buy hotels if you can, as you'll expect to more quickly get back what you paid for them than if you just bought a number of houses. For any other property set, however, you might only want to buy three houses, otherwise it can take a long time until your property starts making you money. Green properties are frequently visited, and buying three houses on these are likely to quickly earn back what you paid for them, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh no, you've caught Santa already. Pay up, Mr. Claus. Hey, Santa, where are you going? Ugh, he always abandons the game right when he's starting to lose. And he always loses because he insists on buying the utility cards. They're not worth it. Shall we have a mince pie and play again, this time without Santa? Yes, let's. He can be such a Scrooge.